Hi right, guys. I'm back. It's only been like three minutes. <laughs> See if we can get this um, lighting to work on this camera a bit better. Give me a wave. Ooh. I don't know what's going on with the lighting today. It's been a bit weird. <laughs> so hi guys, hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good weekend. Um, staying positive. I can't talk, I've not been the best over the weekend, but you bounce back. I think some of it is I've not been training. So it's always good to keep training, to keep that uh, mental health going. As I said, I think it's getting to a lot of us at the moment about this uh, lock-up and stuff, but we'll get through it, guys. We're all in it together. So, we're going to, I'm going to just bow you in, guys. Nice and simple. That's it. And then we're just going to start by... We're just going to start by like this, and we're just going to do some straight punches, punching out. That's all we're going to do. That's it. So, we're just punching out. There we go. We're going to go 30 seconds on this. So, we've got a high calf. Hope you're doing well. So as I say, just some light punching as we're dancing, that's it. That's it. You're going to go 10 more seconds. I see you got five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to go straight to squats. It was nice and steady today. That's it. So keep it going guys, there we go. We've got about another 20 seconds. That's it. That's it, just working these legs. There we go, keep going. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Stretch your backs, we're gonna go do some ab work, so we're gonna go straight into leg raises. We're gonna go 30 seconds. Uh, go. That's it guys, keep it going. That's it, keep it going guys. So we've got 10 seconds, keep it going. That's it. We've got five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> I'm straight to mountain climbers. Let's go, 30 seconds, go. That's it, keep it going. That's it, keep going, you've got 10 seconds. Set, you've got five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go straight for the high plank, just where you are, and go. Gonna go five seconds. That's it, keep going, you've got 20 seconds left. That's it, keep going. You've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and 10 push-ups, go. That's it, and then back up onto your feet. Woo! So now what we're gonna do is, um, so we're gonna go one squat. What, 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 uh, can't words out. what I want you to try and do is five skip side kicks. So you can do it, if you've got a little bit of space in, in your house, obviously, so you're gonna go squat, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. If you wanna move across, a little bit if you've got some space that you can go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do it that way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one squat, five skip side kicks, one squat, five kicks that side. So obviously if you can't do the skip side kick, just try holding your foot out and just doing the two, three, four, five. Doing it like that. So we're gonna go for a big minute on this one. So 
It's gonna work here. Yeah? So we're gonna go from, we're gonna go from now. Just gonna go one squat. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, squat. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. If you want to, you can do it to skip. Two, three, four, five. That's it. That's terrible. <laughs> That's it. So just keep it going. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, keep it going, guys. That's it. Keep going, guys. You've got, I can't remember when I started now. I'll give you another 20 seconds. Just down. One, two, three, four, five. Down. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, keep going. I'll give you 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and time. Just to we're going to squat together, I do apologize. So we go 30 seconds of just squat, jab cross. That's it. Here are the guys, we're gonna go from now. That's it. There we go. That's it, keep going, you've got 15 seconds. That's it, keep it going. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and time, grab yourself a drink. We're gonna have a little stretch before we start, and then we'll do some content. Whew. Don't know about you, but, whew. So grab yourself a drink, guys. We'll have a stretch. <sighs> so I hope you guys are doing well. Looks like it's gonna be a nice sunny day. Whew. So right, for you guys, we're gonna start off to stretch. This time what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go straight into like a sumo squat. Put your legs as, 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 as far as you can. You're gonna feel that in your glutes, in your hip flexors, obviously in your groin, in your inductor area. And obviously we're just gonna sit down, and that's like it. You're just easily just stretching out to go, just a little bit side to side, just a little bit. What you're doing is you're sitting like that, and then you're trying to put your bum on the floor. So you're giving yourself a good stretch. Now sometimes I like to grab my ankles. You just, my forearms and my elbows, just to push my knees back just a little bit, just to get that little stretch. And there we go. And then ease it off a bit, that's it. So warm your legs back up just a little bit. And then we're gonna go straight into the um, froggy stretch. Obviously two ways of doing this. So the easiest way is, obviously up onto your knees, Slide down as far as you can go. I've got my feet pushed together, so it's not full fro froggy stretch yet. So you're gonna go down, feet together, and then what you do is you just lay into it. So that for me, because my feet are together, is quite easy. So you start off with that one with the feet together, and obviously what you can do is you pull them out more like how a frog looks, try and go lower, and then what you do is you sit back into it. So you're gonna feel that stretch, That's it, I just like to use my hands to push myself back a little bit. So this is awesome again, it's for the hip flexors, obviously for your in, inside in your groin area and stuff like that. You're just nicely stretching. As I say, the wider you have your feet out, the harder the stretch is. If you're just starting out guys, you just put your, put your feet together and just obviously just nice and gently just stretch. There we go. That's it, and then from there, we're just gonna go straight onto the floor. We're gonna go for the butterfly stretch. So, just gonna beat your feet together. And then same again, you're just gonna push down. What I like to do is push down, and then obviously try and lean forward. 
So you apply that pressure more. That's it. So same again, hands on my ankles, my forearms and my elbows are pushing down to my knees a bit. That's it, and then leaning forward. It's a good little stretch. And as I say, guys, stretching um, also good for stress relief. Just relaxing you a bit more. That's it. So go with this one again for about another 20 seconds or so. Remember, you can release it, wobble it off a bit so it's obviously loosening them back up, and then back down again. That's it. When you're pushing down, try not to push back up. That's it. You're applying pressure then. So just keep it nice and relaxed. That's it. So another 10 seconds on this one. That's it. And then time. So we're going to go straight into it. Just going to up your legs as far as you can get them. Obviously from this angle. And then same again. Lean it forward. Lean it from side to side. There we go. Just nice and relaxed. Just remember to breathe. So that's it. So I like to go from side to side. I'm going to say for you guys, that obviously just stretching uh, five to eight seconds on the side, so probably about five, five to eight seconds and then swap sides. If you're a bit more advanced, then it can be about um, 15 to 20 seconds, but you need to be really warm for that. And then obviously back to the middle. And remember guys, exhale. So obviously when, you, when you're stretching, so as you can see, if I hold my breath, about there, but if I exhale, I'm going lower. So it's always a good technique, is breathe in, hold it for two to three seconds, and then exhale. That's it. You can run with that one, guys, for about another 20 seconds. So keep on with that, guys, but obviously I'll show you that technique. So obviously, it's the same for obviously if you've been following um, K's yoga classes on the morning. It'll be a similar sort of technique to that. It's obviously when uh, you're stretching, obviously you do need to do breathing techniques as well. So as you can see, if I'm going down like that, so if I'm just holding like that, and I hold in my breath, I'm not going down very far. But if I breathe in, and then release it, you can see I'm going lower. But I'm not having to force it. So it's all about the breathing, guys. So obviously this next one, we're going to go straight into, um, what we're going to do is one of my favourites. I like to put one foot flat on the floor, one heel's going up onto the mat. So I've got one foot flat, one foot onto the thing. Obviously just be careful with this guy, so obviously like I'm holding myself up. You're mainly stretching the leg with the toes pointing up. And you just obviously, you can lean into it. So you're leaning into that a little bit and then you can lean back to re release the pressure. Different angles, different parts of your, of your leg you're going to be stretching. So as you can see from there, I'm just stretching nicely. It's just nice and relaxed. There's not a lot of um, discomfort or anything. And then once you're done, just be careful. Swap sides. When you're swapping sides, just be careful. And then same again on the other side. So these toes are now pointing up. We're stretching this leg. That's it. So it's a good one to so just keep repeating. And so go to that side again. So this is a really good stretch. So obviously you just need to be careful when you're doing it. And then swapping sides again. That's it. And then eventually guys, once you've got this bit done like this, then that's obviously when you can start going down and you can start thinking about doing your, your box splits more. So as you can see, I'm not fully there today. But as I said, the good way is you can, you can let, sit on the floor and then just sort of ease that as well. It's another good way of doing that. So right guys, we need to warm our legs back up. So we're gonna go for some of those sort of like high knees. I right, can even be doing some star jumps. We're just warming these legs back up. So we're gonna go a minute on, we're just gonna warm up, warm up again. So it can be high knees, you can be throwing some kicks just to warm your legs, star jumps, anything you want. We're gonna go for a minute. Are you ready guys? Go. So I'm just gonna do some star jumps. That's it. Right, we'll go 30 seconds actually, we don't need to go a minute. So I'm just going to practice some kicks. So that's all it is, you, you might find you're kicking higher. That's it. Here we go. Let's see, you've got 15 seconds. So all you're doing is warming these legs back up. That's it. Here we go. And time guys, grab yourself a drink, grab your gloves, and then we'll get straight on. Woo! 
Still got to drink myself. Whew. So as I say guys, about stretching, obviously just take your time, don't force it too much, nice and relaxed, you can do it while you're watching TV, um, where you've just got five minutes just to do a little bit of a stretch, um, just to keep you flexible, and it obviously release stress, release tension off your legs. So grab your gloves guys, we're going to start off nice and simple, just like moi. Hi Kay, hi Natasha, hi Phil. Woo. This one's gonna be nice and easy to start with. So as I said, we've just had a nice stretch. As I say guys, so if you wanna be um, getting involved with stretching more, I'd advise you to watch um, Kay's um, yoga classes on the morning. And obviously that's where that sort of breathing technique comes from. It comes from like the yoga stuff where you're stretching. You don't hold your breath, you breathe as you're stretching. So obviously a good, good tip is to, to uh, give Kay's classes a go. Um, good way of getting flexible. And it's just nice and relaxing. Right guys, so nice and simple for this one. We're in our boxing stance. All we're gonna do is we're gonna throw two jabs. It's gonna be a jab high, jab low. So you're gonna be jab high, jab low. So you're gonna go for a jab to the head, jab to the body, and then we're gonna fire a cross in. And then we're just gonna start off with that. And then we're going to add on, I always add on, it's always, it's always a side kick, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going to start with, we've got a minute and a half, so it's just going to be. So you're just going jab high, jab low, cross. So for this guy, you can go jab, you can bend your knees a little bit to go for that lower one, and then coming them back up with that cross. That's it. So we're just going to do that for about a minute and a half, we're going to go from now, so you can be up on your toes, and then you're just going to... That's it. Just jab high, jab low, cross. That's it. So you've got a minute left, guys. Keep it going. So it's just jab high, jab low, cross. Remember to breathe. You can do a Or you can make up your own noise. It's entirely up to you. As long as it's not too weird. And the neighbors are thinking, what's going on next door? <laughs> So it's just. That's it. So keep it going. That's it. You can be putting your toes, stepping onto that first jab. That's it. There we go. Keep it going. You've got 20 seconds. So just jab high, jab low, cross. That's it. That's it, keep going, you've got 10 seconds. There we go. So it's just. That's it. And time, we're gonna go 30 seconds of just rolling these uppercuts. Let's go. Just rolling these uppercuts. There we go. So it doesn't have to be like a proper uh, roll them, it's just getting your arms used to just rolling them, there we go, keep going, 10 seconds, that's it, keep it going, there we go, keep going, you got five, four, three, two, one, time, if you need a quick drink guys, grab one, and then we'll get straight on, Woo. Woo. So what we're going to do guys is we're just going to add on, just nice and simple for this first part, just going to add on a side kick. So it's going to be that jab high, jab low, cross, you're going to turn to your side, and if you need to, if you want to, take a little step, so you take a little step and then kick. So it's all up to you, so it's jab high, jab low, cross, turn, you can just throw your kick, or you can try it as a step, where you step and then you kick. Because sometimes obviously if you've done your jab, Jab high, jab low, cross. Come back be a bit out of range. You can get that side kick in. If not, you're just taking that step. So from there, you're taking a step. You're taking that step. And then you kick it. Boom. So that's all it is. So you've got the two ways of doing it. 
So you've had your double jab, cross, return to your side, you've taken that kick, or jab, jab high, jab low, cross, you turn to your side, you take that step. So from there you're taking a step and then you kick in. So I'm telling you, we're gonna go for about two and a half, two and a half minutes on this one. So just, just nice and practice how we're gonna go. So it's just jab high, jab low, cross, there we go, and then that side kick. So try and make that side kick really fast. So you're bringing that side kick up, that knee's coming over my body, and then you're firing that kick out. So you're gonna be kicking with your heel. So it's just jab high, jab low, cross, touch your side. There we go. That's it. There we go. That's it. There we go. So keep it going guys, we're going, we're going to go for a minute or so, left, I keep losing time. <laughs> so we just jab high, jab low, cross, turn to your side, back end nice and tight, side kick, that's it. So we're able to chamber on that side kick, there, push, and then bring it back down, there we go. Double, jab high, jab low, cross, side kick, there we go. That's it. There we go. Woo. So keep it going, guys. That's it. That's it. There we go. Keep going. You got about another forty seconds. Jab high, jab low, cross, turn to your side, lead side kick. That's it. That's it, keep going. You've got 20 seconds left. Woo! So it's and back. That's it. Keep going, 15 seconds. Woo! You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. This time we're gonna go out straight into two squats, two side kicks, two squats, two side kicks. We're gonna go 30 seconds, we're gonna go from now, go. That's it. Keep going, 15 seconds. That's it, keep it going. Whew. And time, grab yourself a drink. Whew. Cool yourself down a little bit. So this is another going to be another simple one guys, easy Monday, <laughs> so this one is going to be more of a punk style one, obviously it's going to have no, up it's going to be three straight punches, lead side kick, back fist and reverse punch, so nice and simple, so we're not going crazy on this one guys, so you start off with your new boxing stance, you're going to throw the three straight punches, you're going to turn to your side, your back hand's nice and tight, I'm going to go for that lead side kick, from dropping from there, your guard should be up to your chin, from there you're going to throw that back fist, and then from there you're going to throw that reverse punch. As you can see guys, so after I've thrown that lead side kick, I've dropped it down, I've flung that back fist to the face, so it's going to the face, obviously the part of the glove there, the, nut, the back of the hand, back fist, you're bringing that guard up there, as you're going down there. So obviously for the reverse punch, so after you've thrown that side kick, you get your back fist, from there, you need to go into this position, a lot of that power's coming from this leg, so it's, that's it. So nice and simple, so you're gonna go off. Three straight punches, lead side kick, back fist, reverse punch. What I want with this one though guys, because obviously it's more of a punch style, I want it more higher paced, 
So just basically, you straight in, you're up on your toes. That's it, then take a few steps back. That's it, and then take a few steps back. So we're gonna go from five, four, three, two, one, and go. So it's just three straight punches. Lead side kick, back fist, reverse punch. There we go, that's it. Side kick, back fist, reverse punch just like that, guys. That's it. Here we go. So what we'll do, we'll concentrate on this for about a minute and a half, and then we'll go 30 seconds all in. We'll go really fast. So you ready, guys? So it's just. That's it. So remember, guys, so I'm from that side kick, from the side kick, my back has been tight. I'm from that back fist, and I'm coming to this like that. There we go. There we go. Nice and simple. So you go. That's it. There we go. Keep it going. Jab, cross, jab. Lead side kick, back fist, reverse punch. There we go. Jab, cross, jab. Lead side kick, back fist, reverse punch. That's it. Whew. So we're gonna go for about another, we'll go for another minute and then we're gonna go 30 seconds high paced. So if you just wanna keep practicing it, jab, three straight punches, that lead side kick, back fist, reverse punch. Three straight punches, turn to your side, back hands nice and tight, side kick, back fist, reverse punch. There we go. So you've got five seconds of this one. Jab, cross, jab, side kick, back fist, reverse punch. That's it. Keep going, you've got 20 seconds. Jab, cross, jab, side kick, back fist, reverse punch. There we go. That's it. That's it, I'm gonna go 30 seconds all in now, so try and do it as fast as you can. So it is. That's it. That's it, keep going. That's it, you've got 20 seconds left. Keep going. That's it. That's it, keep going. That's it, you've got 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And time. Time we are. So we grab yourself a drink. You can take your gloves off. We'll finish off with a little bit of kicking stuff. And then we'll have a quick stretch. Woo. That's it, guys. So I'll give you 15 seconds. So I'm going to finish off nice and simple. Um, some of you don't know, obviously, this kick at times. So we're going to go. We're just going to go for an um, outside crescent kick. So a crescent kick's a bit like an axe kick. It's sort of like a hook kick, but it's obviously going to keep a straight leg. You're coming up and you're coming all the way around. So obviously, when we've been an outside crescent kick, you're basically supposed to be kicking with the outside of your foot. If it was an inside crescent kick, it'd be coming that way around and you're probably kicking with the bottom of your foot. So we're just going to practice this credit kick. So from there it's going to be a rear, you're bringing it up, so it's a bit like you're going to be throwing that axe kick, and then at the last minute, you're throwing that kick all the way around. So you bring the axe kick, so it comes up, comes down, the hook kick's come that way, and this credit kick's coming from the back, it's coming up, and it's coming over. So it's a good one for uh, the side of the face, it's good for getting guard away. So we're just going to practice this. We're going to go 30 seconds on this one, and then we'll try and practice this one. So you can do this from there. That's all, all it is. Just practicing that crescent kick. Good to obviously up, up, up the hips that we did earlier. That's it, see so you down. And you just bring that round. That's it. Here we go. That's it. Keep going. Woo! 
and turn. So this one we're going to swap stance and we're going to do it off the same leg, off the opposite leg, just the same again and just throwing it, so it's working on up, up your hips. Are you ready guys? So we're going to go 30 seconds, so from there you go for that rear crescent kick, so it looks like an axe kick, but you're kicking with the side of your foot, not the bottom of your foot. That's it. Keep it going. You've got 10 seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and time, guys. Woo. So I'm just gonna have a really quick stretch. Same as I've talked before. We're just going shoulder width apart. Well, you can go a bit further, it depends on how flexible you are. All I'm gonna do is touch the floor. What you can do is if you're in this position, you can try and get your head on the floor. Obviously your hands, if you obviously your hands are fine. And you're just stretching those legs. I say good if you wake up the next day when you've been uh, training and your legs are stiff. It's a good way to warm your legs back up a little bit. Whee. There we go. So we're just going to do that stretch today, guys. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Remember, obviously, if you want to go recap on the uh, stretching part, um, I say that's the way I like to stretch. Um, just take time, though, guys. So don't obviously don't start getting frustrated and like I can't do this, can't get this flexibility. It does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of practice. So just be patient. So right guys, I'm going to bow you out. It's been an absolute pleasure. Stay safe. Keep looking after each other. And keep staying positive. I can't talk like that. But, you know, stay positive. And um, I'll see you soon, guys. So I'm going to bow you out. Courtesy respect. There we go. And I'll see you later. Bye.